This is, guess what? There's a hippopotamus on the hospital roof eating cake. And this is published by Puffin, by Penguin, and illustrated by Deborah Narland, who illustrates all the hippopotamus books. And she actually looks a little bit like the mother in the book. And the father looks a little bit like her husband. They don't, uh, people often ask me who are the models. In the middle of the night, my tummy started to hurt. Mummy called an ambulance. I didn't want to go to hospital. My big sister said, my hippo knows all about hospitals. He can go with you. There's a hippopotamus on our roof eating cake and he's going to hospital too. Mummy sits beside me and holds my hand. My hippo sits on the roof. There's a hippopotamus on the ambulance roof directing traffic. In the original story, I had telling people where to go, but the editor changed that. At the hospital, the nurses take my temperature and do some tests. My hippo knows all about what happens in hospitals. He knows about thermometers and blood tests and cake tests. There's a hippopotamus in the hospital canteen testing cakes. And in our play version of this, the doctor's a, a girl and the nurse is a boy. My head hurts. My tummy hurts. You must have an operation, says Dr. Jill, who's the female doctor in this one, in the operating theatre. Will I be cut open, I ask. Just a little cut, says Dr. Jill. And then you'll be sewn up. An orderly pushes me on a trolley to the theatre. There's a hippopotamus on a trolley bed and he's going to have stitches too. He's got a teddy as well. And you have to imagine what it's like when you lie back and you often see the roof in a hospital. I suggested they should put some artwork on the ceiling of the hospital because that's where everybody looks. My world is upside down. Breathe slowly, says the nurse. Everything goes black. Later, I wake up. Beep, beep, beep. There's a special tube in my arm. You are. You notice the hippo's got the same tube in the medically correct place. <laughs> my tummy has a bandage. It feels sore. I don't want to eat. My hippo sips a drink like me. And he's got a bandage around his tummy, too. My hippopotamus is on ward duty. He visits patients. He arranges flowers. He does wheelies. He helps the nurses put on the bandages and tells doctors what to do. There's a hippopotamus on ward duty polishing the floors. And if you look very closely at the illustrations, you'll see... He's polishing the floors with his bottom because he's sliding up and down to make sure that they're very clean. Hospitals can be scary at night. It's dark, it's quiet, but I'm all right because my hippopotamus is in the bed next to me. There's a hippopotamus patient in the hospital bandaging his cake. It's always a challenge for the illustrator to think of lots of different ways to draw the illustrations. Daddy bought me a balloon and some flowers. Mummy bought me clean pyjamas. My big sister sent her favourite book. My big brother drew a funny get well card. My hippopotamus has lots of cards and flowers too. But some of the flowers make him sneeze. If you look very closely, you'll see that the book is a bit like the cover of the first hippopotamus book. One of those. Nurse shows me how to sit up properly. I stretch. Luckily, my stitches don't pop. 
My hippo stretch is true. There's a hippopotamus on the hospital roof doing his stretches. And you could do some too after you've read the book. See, he's doing some of them upside down. And you can look at all the illustrations closely because they're a very important part of the book. The words and the pictures work in together. Hospital food comes on trays. Soup, wobbly jelly and juice. But my hippopotamus has cake. There's a hippopotamus on the hospital roof eating cake. On Friday, Dr. Jill said I could go home. Hippo came too. On the front door, there was a big sign saying, Welcome home. I showed everybody, sorry, I showed everyone my scar. There's a hippopotamus on our roof with a little scar on his tummy eating cake. If you look very closely, you'll find the scar. And if you look very closely on the back page, you'll find his scar too. So you always want to look at all the clues in the pictures on the back and the front and the inside of the book too.